We've been lied to, abused with fake information, but for the first time in months, Playboy Cardi has spoken English words and kind of given us information, and previewed new official music from him himself, which includes really sick features, so let's get into all of this, let's talk about music and jump to conclusions about this album, because it's Cardi season, and I think it's safe to say that the rollout for music is officially, like actually set in stone, officially here now. Now, I am no special person that knows any more than you watching, but honestly, I think I could very much predict the date of this album dropping. And I know Cardi is probably one of the most unpredictable rappers alongside someone like Kanye, for example, and he lies all the time. But if I had to put in my best guess for a date, it would be sometime in October. And it works out perfectly where the tour is starting and we get a single on the way within the next few weeks. And speaking of a single, there are so many possibilities of songs songs that could be considered the lead single for the album at this point. Two songs we know and two songs that are very new and very real because they were previewed from Cardi himself. And before we get started, a lot of you who watch are not subscribed, so if you want to support a small channel like me, like and subscribe, comment your thoughts on whatever you think about this new album. We're on the road to 10k, let's get it soon. Thanks again, let's get into the video. The first alleged single was the song Killers or Wicked, which I kind of talked about in one of my last videos. It leaked a little bit ago, and honestly, since it leaked as fire as the song is, I don't think it will make the album because of that reason. But once again, it's Cardi, so who knows? We have seen leaks make the album in the past. For example, we got New Neon on Whole Lot of Red, and that was a leak. But yeah, if you haven't heard Wicked, here's a little short snippet. I just don't want to get copyrighted. Then the second possible single is Pop Out. Bro has been opening up his shows with this song for months now, and no word or anything official from Cardi on this song, but to be honest, I don't think this is a strong pick for a lead single anyway. I don't know if you guys agree with me. Let me know what you think in the comments. But especially for an album that is hyped up to this degree right now, I just don't think this is single material. Now these next two options for lead singles are the ones that I mentioned before, and they feature Travis Scott and Lil Uzi, so let's talk about them. They were previewed to us on Cardi's free birthday concert, Travis first, this song goes really hard, Travis's verse goes nuts, here's a little snippet of it. I would not expect anything less from him at this point, even though we have gotten some questionable features from him over the last few months. And I say that as a huge Travis fan. Sometimes you just gotta admit that your favorite artist can drop some trash every now and then. Yeah, so Cardi posted this on his story on Instagram. The vocals are very clear from Travis, but I think since Cardi was performing it, that's why like they're a little botched. And this would probably do better numbers than the Uzi one, simply because it is just Travis and Travis is bigger. So that does give it a very high chance of being the single for the album, especially since Cardi put it on his Instagram story. But that definitely does not take away from the Uzi song, cause this last one is just as fire. Here's a little snippet of that one as well. You guys know the deal, I can't play super long because of copyright, but the beat is super fast and Uzi and Cardi are going back and forth. It's just classic, plain great 1629. And one thing I have noticed about these beats, and I don't know if you guys noticed it either, so comment if you did, it's the same thing on Killers. There's like a high pitched constant noise that's in the background of the beat and I think it adds so much, like I love it. It makes the beat sound so cool. And I have seen some people talk about it, so just let me know in the comments if I'm crazy or not. Maybe I am crazy, but I hear it very clearly, and if you can't hear it, you might need better ears. But yeah, those are all the possibilities for the lead singles right now, at least out of what we've heard and kind of have confirmed as real songs and not snippets recorded through two walls on a toaster from 1974 in Cardi's studio. So what is the time frame for all of this? Because I'm tired of waiting, I know you guys are tired of waiting, and the hype right now is at an all-time high. Like I said in the beginning, I think we are very, very close close to music and I think it's very real this time. I think the single, if there is one for this album, which I definitely think there will be, something that Cardi does to 
to just kind of build up hype for the album. But if there is one, I think the dates it will most likely drop would be either September 29th or October 6th, because then we're kind of checking off everything that we do need to check off for a successful drop. I'm gonna be honest, at this point, I don't really think there needs to be that much stuff done for a successful drop, since the hype for Cardi right now and on TikTok and just all these people are waiting for this album. But this is kinda just the basics of what needs to happen for a successful drop. We know Drake is dropping his album on the 22nd, and if you're watching this after that date, I'm sure the sales are doing crazy numbers, so there needs to be enough time for that hype to die down before he drops. I love Cardi, but he's just not selling out Drake. The album does need a little bit of promotion just so people actually know it's coming and another check on that list would be dropping it before his tour. I talked about it in one of my videos, but it's really not selling that well and I think even if you're a huge Cardi fan, you can admit that these stadiums are not selling out unless he drops a new album because people don't want to see Whole Lotta Red for the third year in a row. As hype as it is, you cannot deny that that tour would sell way better with a new album. And I think it will come on October the 13th, and I know a lot of people think that Ken Carson is dropping that day, but I really feel like it would have a way better effect if Cardi dropped on Friday the 13th, and it works perfectly with the tour, and obviously, Cardi has more pull than Ken or anyone else on the lineup for that matter for the tour. So this would make the most sense, they're not gonna delay Cardi's drop for Ken dropping. And lastly, as long as the single is a strong song, it's able to be very popular, this should be a very successful drop, and I have no doubt in my mind that it will not be underwhelming and will be a great drop. Unless it was a surprise drop, a lot of people disagree with me on that, but I don't think a surprise drop is a good idea, but hey, I'm just the guy on YouTube yapping about it, what do I know? Yeah, so I really do think the rollout is starting for real this time, and I know I've been saying that, and you've probably heard it from a bunch of people a million times before this, but it would be stupid to not start it now, considering the circumstances of the tour starting so soon, and the hype levels being, in my opinion, at the same height that they were before Rolling Loud Cali and his first headline performance performance when people thought he was originally going to drop at the beginning of the year. I'm just praying to the Cardi gods that this time it's all for real and we're not getting baited for the millionth time. Comment what you think about the music drop timeline and your opinions on these two new songs. I'll reply to everyone. Thanks so much for watching and all of the support. Sorry for not uploading as often as I should be. I have been very busy with college stuff. Computer science is no joke and it is taking up a lot of my time. But hey, I'm still here for you guys. Fastest and most reliable hip hop news in the game. And also, I have been interested in starting a discord for the community so let me know in the comments as well if that is something you guys would be interested in just to hang out talk about music talk to me anything all of that stuff let me know if you guys would be interested in that as well subscribe if you're new or if you have been here before thanks again for watching and on that note